guys, what's up? Welcome back to Danish Tube and this short little video on the Danish Y. Firstly, I bought a new webcam. Can you see how awesome it looks? My camera computer's here, but the webcam's here. Uh, it looks great. And to celebrate, I'm going to do a little competition. All you need to do is comment the most Danish flags. Like this video, comment the most Danish flags on this video and my next upcoming video. And you can win a free class with me. Doesn't matter if you're already taking classes with me or if you're a new student. Uh, like the video, drop as many flags as you can, and after the next video, we'll see who wins. Let's get into this little thing with the Danish Y. And I want to make this video because it's been coming up a lot uh, recently in class. Uh, oh, I need to share my screen, which I can't figure out how to do. Give me a second. Um, and I, 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 I know there's something that, that can help you when you pronounce the Danish Y. So here's my screen, and I'm going to draw and talk a bit about what's the problem here. And I think it's because in English, when we say a Y, often we say actually an I sound, right? Let's take the word type as an example. Type, type, type. And when we say type, if you, you need to think about what's going on with our mouths. So if I say ta, my mouth is kind of type like this, type. And, and I've noticed that it seems like you're pulling inwardly. Does that make sense? It seems to make sense to other people, so I hope it does to you as well. Type, you're putting in with me, almost smiling and putting in. Whereas we have the same word in Danish, but we pronounce it tube, tube, tube. Look at the difference with my mouth. It's much more closed. That was a bad drawing. It's much more closed. Could I, could I say this kind of shape? The ta, tube, it's even more pursed than that, right? It's like very, very tight. Um, I really can't draw mouths, no. Uh, how the hell can I draw it? Hi, to you. Maybe I did something like that. Tube, tube, tube. And also, you are going outwardly. So it's an outwardly, I won't say sound, but type, you're pulling inwardly. Tube, you're pushing outward. So whenever you see the word, the, the letter Y in Danish, you should be thinking of one, a pursed lips, pursed mouth, which means kind of like the shape of, as if you're gonna suck through a straw, actually happen to have a kind of a straw here. Tube, 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 hmm? right? But when you say I, I, your mouth is very open with the I, I, I type, tube. Okay, that's basically it. So. And I've been asking people, why is it that people keep saying Higa, Higa, instead of Huga? That one I can't figure out. So you leave me a comment in the comment section if you've ever uh, read the word Huga like Higa, or the word Hugali like Higali. And why? Why are you doing it? I can't figure it out. Uh, I, I can understand the I because we have type, we have hype again in Danish, hoop, hooper, tuba, outwardly. Outwardly, outwardly, outwardly. Uh, and that's my advice. Let me know what you thought of this video. Remember, drop all the Danish flags that you can and like this video to win a free class with me. And watch out for the next one because I want you to do exactly the same to be in the competition to win. Doesn't matter if you're already taking classes, if you're a new student. Leave the comments, give the likes, and I'll see you in the next video. Hi, hi.